Look, every single one of us is being impacted by inflation right now. We're being impacted at the gas pump, we're being impacted at the grocery store, and we're being impacted in our mortgage buying opportunities. And I want to share with you the reality of what we're dealing with today. I had a client the other day who was looking to buy a house in the mid $400,000 range. And he had about, you know, 20,000 or actually about 30, 40,000 dollars to put out of pocket. And he was well qualified, everything was good, he was ready to write an offer on the home. And then we started talking about the numbers. And I asked a critical question. I said, "Hey Fred, we'll call him Fred. Hey Fred, what do you know about interest rates and where are interest where do you think interest rates are?" And he goes, "Well, John, I, I, they're probably around what, two and a half or so." And I, Fred was in for a big letdown. I had to explain to Fred the changes that have happened in the last six months have significantly changed the interest rate market. And Fred's out looking for a home with his wife, and they fell in love with this property, and they were ready to write an offer, and they had absolutely no idea that rates had shifted so much. And so I went on and I said, Fred, what do you think your monthly payment's going to be on this home? And he goes, Oh, I don't know, somewhere around two thousand dollars a month, something more, somewhere in the low two thousands. And I said, Okay, well here's here's our challenge, Fred. Our challenge is interest rates have gone up a lot. Right now we're probably around five and a half percent as an interest rate right now. And what that means is when you're putting a small down payment, and mind you guys, $40,000 is not pennies, but the truth is it's 5% down plus closing costs is you know going to be a, for a mid $400,000 home, you're only putting 5% down plus closing costs. That means that you have to pay mortgage insurance as well. And I told Fred that and I said, so here's our challenge. Our challenge is your payment's going to be over $3,000 a month. And Fred's face just dropped. And he said, John, I'm, I, I can't afford $3,000 a month. And I said, well, Fred, here's the deal. You on paper can afford it. It's a lifestyle question. And here's what you have to decide, Fred. You have to decide, am I willing to sacrifice some other things to pay $3,000 a month now, knowing that that's my worst case scenario payment? Fred, what are you paying in rent right now? And he said, I'm paying about $2,300 a month. And I said, well, gosh. That $2,300 a month, what was it? Has it always been that? And he goes, well, no, it's been going up a lot. And I said, what do you think it's going to do in the future? And he said, oh, my God, I haven't really thought too much about that. And I said, Fred, that's that's my worry. My worry is that five years from now, your rent payment is going to be higher than this $3,000 a month mortgage payment you're taking on today. And on top of that, if you take on a mortgage today, there's a really good chance, really good chance that interest rates are going to fall in the next couple of years. And we can actually refinance you to lower that payment. So the question is, pain now or pain later? And Fred looked at me and he goes, you know, John, I, I my, my trainer said the same thing to me last week. And I said, really? Tell me what you mean. And he goes, no, seriously, like my, my fitness trainer, he said, look, you, you have goals. You have fitness goals. You have weight loss goals. And the question is, do you sacrifice now or do you sacrifice later? Do you sacrifice? We all know this to be true. You sacrifice now and you get everything you want down the road. Or you go for the instant gratification. Hey, I'd rather have the cheaper rent payment today. And the problem is your rent's going to keep going up. And that's the huge payment shock. That's a huge challenge. I don't know what Fred's going to do. Honestly, I'm not pushing him to do either one because it's up to him. Where is he going to get that extra $700 a month from? Is he going to lower his uh, investments into his 401k? That's one of the suggestions I made. Because home ownership, he gets to build wealth versus renting, he's paying somebody else's mortgage. The reality is it's a tough time in a tough market and we got to make tough decisions. But this shock of how much it's going to take to own a home compared to rent or compared to simply what your friends paid a year ago when they bought a home, that's the biggest challenge that I think people don't understand and they aren't ready for. So don't be Fred. Call me ahead of time before you fall in love with the home. Let's talk about numbers. Let's figure out what it's going to take and let's really strategize to say, is this a good time or not? I'm not going to try and convince you to do it. I'm going to help you make the right decision.